This is the motivation you need to get in the best shape of your life, right? To finally look in the mirror and be proud and, and feel that sense of pride that you have actually are living up to your full potential, that you are looking the way that you wanna look, right? That you don't have the extra 10, 20, 30, 40 pounds, you know that you've been wanting to lose for years, right? I've talked to hundreds and thousands of people about reaching their fitness and health goals and everyone wants to get in better shape. Everyone wants to accomplish a lot of things, but see, it's not what you want. It's if you're willing to do what it takes to actually get the result. Does your desire for the outcome overweigh the sacrifice that is required to reach the goal? See, with anything physical in life, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to our body, our fitness and health, when it comes to business and making money, all these things, these are physical things, right? We're not talking about the spiritual realm, we're talking about the physical reality. And the physical reality is simply based off inputs and outputs. If you do things in a correct way consistently, over time, you will get the desired result, right? If you do, if you do the consistent work to follow the blueprint to blueprint to build a house eventually the house will be built right if you if you follow the correct blueprints as far as training and nutrition when it comes to your fitness and health if you follow the correct blueprint with discipline and consistency over time you will build the muscle you will lose the fat you will get the body and the health that you desire right but the thing that you need to overcome is all of the things that are holding you back from doing so. Now, there might be some physical things as far as uh, obligations or lack of time or this and that, that you actually can apply some physical systems to actually help you like meal prepping or scheduling out your workouts, scheduling or getting, getting a babysitter, whatever it might look like, some physical actual things, right? But a lot of times it's the mental, it's the limiting beliefs, right? It's the lack of desire to actually get the result. See, if you want, with anything in life, this is what I've realized. There's a yin-yang balance between happiness and contentment and desire and achievement, right? The more that you have a desire for an outcome, the more you're willing to sacrifice and put in the work to actually acquire the desire and actually obtain it, right? But if you don't have that desire and you're content and you're completely happy with where you're at in your, your body and your relationship and your life and your, your finances and your business, if you're content and happy with that, you won't really progress because in order to progress, you have to desire to, to actually progress. And that desire needs to outweigh the sacrifice that's going to require to actually get the result, right? So you guys, it's a mental thing, right? The, uh, anything in life is all a mental thing because uh, when it comes to physical reality, when it comes to changing your body or anything physical, right? It's about your mindset and your belief system. You have to make sure it's aligned and you have to rewire it to be aligned towards the desired outcome, right? But once you've done that, then, you, then you're good, right? It's identity, then it's beliefs, and beliefs leads to actions and habits, right? And it's actually a feedback loop because your habits and actions reinforce your identity and your identity reinforces your beliefs and so on right so me i haven't uh missed training for longer than two weeks in over 10 years right and the reason being is because i have the identity of somebody who works out i have the identity that somebody's in, sh in shape i have the identity of an athlete i have that identity and because i have that identity i have certain beliefs that support that identity about myself right as far as eating and training and how i should look and those beliefs support the habits and the actions of eating right training hard all the things that actually lead to the result right so you guys need to begin to shift your identity of who is the man that you want to be what is the identity that you want to have what is the body that you want to have how can you build up that identity support it around the beliefs that are aligned towards reaching that outcome and then what are the habits and actions that you need to take in, in order to acquire the physique, the body, right, that you want. All right, guys, that's the video. God bless you. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the notification button so you never miss a video. 
All right, I'll see you guys next time. Click the link below to apply for my Elite Mindset, High Performance, and Fitness and Nutrition Coaching Program. You guys can click the link below and I will personally help you do everything that we talked about here today. So click that link below to apply for one of my programs. Other than that, connect with me on all social media platforms and I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace out, let's go.